Uh, one of the next little topics we want to get to here is solubility and uh, how you know whether a compound is soluble or insoluble uh, when it's in water. Most ionic compounds uh, do choose to dissolve, but we have issues with some, and so we have to kind of have a, a set of rules or a table. And I've given a set of rules to everybody that's uh, out of your textbook. There are several different types of rules and lists out there. But basically what you have to do then is you have to be able to read the list. You don't have to memorize it, but you have to understand what's going on. So for example, here I have a couple of compounds up here. I have chloride, silver chloride and sodium chloride. Now according to our list, all chlorides or halides, chlorines, are soluble. Okay? So sodium chloride, when you would drop it into H2O, would ionize into a sodium ion and a chlorine ion. Now you would automatically assume since all chlorines do it, you would say the same thing would happen for silver chloride. But silver chloride is on the other side of this table and it reads exceptions, which means that silver and chlorine are, are going to stay bonded and will end up not ionizing, but will actually end up just sitting in the bottom as a precipitate of silver chloride. Okay? On the opposite here, I've got some things that were listed on the insolubles list. Sodium carbonate and calcium carbonate. According to the list, all carbonates are insoluble, which means they are going to sit in a solid form and not dissolve in water. But, so as calcium carbonate stays a precipitate, I'll abbreviate that PPT, and stays calcium carbonate, sodium is an exception on the opposite side. So sodium carbonate will dissolve, it will ionize, and it will leave a sodium ion and a carbonate ion. Really, being able to refer to this chart and read this chart is the biggest thing, but anytime we place a substance in a solution, uh, that's how we understand it. So when we look at a, a reaction, let's say we're going to combine sodium chloride and potassium oxide, we need to refer to the table to know whether or not these things will start out as ions, and that's why we put AQ there, because they're in solutions, or whether or not they will stay solid and be insoluble. Um, but if you have questions, please ask, but refer to your charts.